This is the fastest pick in Tinker's Construct. It's made out of rose gold head. It has a cobalt binding and a Hypothesian tool rod. I gave it to Haste 5, Blasting 5, as well as a diamond and another right upgrade. I'd like to preface this video by saying that this is not the best pickaxe in the mod. I am not claiming that this is the best pickaxe in the mod. Maybe it's not even the fastest, maybe there's a way to make a faster pickaxe, I do not know. All I'm saying is that this is the pickaxe that I believe is the fastest. It's not the best, it doesn't have good durability at all. Its modifiers are a bit trash. It focuses solely on speed, and that's what I personally prefer, and that's what I thought I should make this video to show people here. Look at this, this is the fastest pickaxe you can possibly make in this mod. Here's how you do it. Of course, every material and every trait and every pickaxe, every tool is situational. If you want to go strip mining deep down below for diamonds or netherite or whatever else, you might as well use a copper pickaxe because of its unusual trait, which is dwarven. And what dwarven lets you do, it basically multiplies the speed of the pickaxe the deeper you are underground. It's incredibly powerful. Or if you want the best of both worlds, if you want a quick and a durable pickaxe, you could go for Hepatizen and Cobalt because they're really good. But in our case, we're going with Rose Gold because we're focusing solely on speed. Alright, so to start off, I'd like to show you how to prepare the pieces for this pickaxe and I'd like to explain why I used these certain parts instead of anything else. First of all, you're going to need a rose gold pickaxe head, which is pretty easy to obtain. You're going to need copper and gold, which is pretty easy. I picked rose gold specifically because of its uh, very high base mining speed. It has a base mining speed of 9, which is faster than anything else currently available in the mod without any modifications to the mod. Of course, it doesn't have good durability and its harvesting tier is pretty bad, but it can improve that with a bit of upgrading. And the next tool part, it's the tool binding thing, and I made it of cobalt because of its uh, cool ability, which would be lightweight. It boosts the base speed of the pickaxe. And lastly, I chose Hepatizen because of two reasons. First of all, the Hepatizen tool rod has the best speed modifier, it's equal to rose gold, which is 1.2, but it also has better durability than rose gold. And it also has a really cool quirk, which is momentum. It basically makes you mine faster the more you mine. It's sort of like the Electrum in uh, Tinker's Construct 1.12, where you would get haste when you mine a lot. To Elo Hepatizen, you're going to be needing copper, cobalt, and quartz. First of all, we're going to be maximizing the amount of abilities and the upgrades we have by using all of this stuff. We have a uh, dragon head, which is pretty difficult to obtain. We have an end crystal, which is also pretty end game. We have a music disc, we have book and quill, and we have also a creeper head, but we can use anything, any kind of head works. Some of these are harder to obtain than others, but they're all crucial to making the most powerful pickaxe imaginable. Next, you're going to be giving it diamond and netherite. Both of these, not only do they boost the base speed, they also give better durability as well as increasing the harvesting tier and if you give a netherite it basically increases the harvesting tier to netherite which is incredibly good. Next we're going to give it redstone to boost its mining speed by a lot. Lastly you have the choice to either give it gunpowder or glowstone. Glowstone is a close second but it requires a high light level to boost your mining speed and if you're going to be mining you're most likely going to be in a cave where the light isn't that high even with torches, its powerfulness bleaks in front of blasting, which is given by gunpowder. So what blasting does, it basically lets you mine blocks that are vulnerable to explosions way faster than you would. So as you can see, this is literally the fastest big hex available in the game. It can instamine stone, of course it doesn't instamine cobble or deep slate, but if you get a beacon with haste too, it's pretty unstoppable. It's quite difficult to make, it's a pretty end game, but I think it's powerful enough to excuse all the effort it requires to make. And on this note, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for taking your time to watch this entire video, if you've made it this far. This is the first time I've ever made uh, this high quality content, well if you could consider it high quality, by my standards it is, in comparison to everything else I've made. I don't have anything else to say, I'd just like to thank you once again, and have a good day. Cheers.